For warm weather with Garrett James. All right, Garrett, here in Utah, it's been hot as well. We've been hearing about the heat alerts. We've been seeing our air conditioning bills go up. It's been pretty warm. Oh, yeah, definitely pretty warm, especially here in St. George. My uh, my AC bill has been a little bit higher than I anticipated, but well, you know, that's the price we pay for living in the desert. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar right now. A little bit of rain out there at the present time. That's cooling off some places with a little bit of rain cooled air. However, mainly just some lighter showers in the western parts of the state. However, these are going to be traveling further to the east as they do so. They are going to start to dissipate and overnight they should start to clear up. We will see a few clouds overnight tonight. However, heading into tomorrow, we will be looking at the chance for showers and thunderstorms once again. And then heading over into Pioneer Day itself, we are going to be looking at the chance for rain as well. So if you have any plans outside, make sure that you are planning for a few storms to be possible both Sunday and on Monday. And when you hear thunder roar, Make sure that you head indoors as lightning can be dangerous, especially towards the monsoon season. Let's go ahead and take a look at the storm threat for tomorrow. We can see a general risk blanketing the entirety of the state. This doesn't mean that everybody is going to be looking at storm chances for tomorrow. It just means that there is a chance for everybody to see at least a little something, but it doesn't mean that everybody will. Then we fast forward to Monday. Same situation going to be looking at a blanket covering the entire beehive state and that does include parts of wyoming and idaho for tomorrow the flash flood potential is on the lower side if not non-existent for most places however for capitol reef it is a possibility however one thing i'll mention is for monday for pioneer day a lot of these are actually going to be popping up yellow. So as you head into Pioneer Day, if you have any outdoor plants, just make sure that you're keeping an eye on the radar as we are going to be looking at those thunderstorm chances. Let's go ahead and take a look at the heat alerts. We are looking at numerous heat advisories and excessive heat warnings in effect. Those are going to last until Monday. Temperatures out there right now, still 93, Salt Lake City, 99, St. George, 94, Lake Powell, 74, 79, though, in Blanding, 84 in Moab 92 Green River. Look out over the ABC4 studio. We can see mostly clear skies out there at the present time. However, well, this is what Moab looked like earlier today. 84 degrees currently there. However, St. George right now, temperatures still on the hot side of things. Temperatures mainly in the 80s, as we can see in Logan, Ogden, and in Provo. Let's go ahead and take a look at lows tonight, mainly in the 60s. However, 70s for Salt Lake City, Windover, and even St. George and Moab. However, highs tomorrow going to be looking at the triple digits for a lot of places. 111 for St. George for the Wasatch Front. 104 tomorrow, 100 on Monday, 97 though on Tuesday, all three with rain chances. However, start to see temps in the upper 90s for for the remainder of the week. However, St. George, triple digits. Once again, slight chance for rain Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, but hot, hot, and more hot. Sarah, back to you. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Garrett. Time